get started with the coding, we first have a look at what is available there on our embed OS operating system available for timing the events. So we go into this ARM embed site and then to the documentation and embed OS. And then in here on the API reference tutorials and have a look what is available in here. Almost the first thing there, there is a real time operating system. So the real time means typically that the operation or on the microcontroller or on the processor is controlled in real time by, by the outside events. So typical events are like interrupts coming from some, some sensors or, or some other actions outside the processor. So in a normal, like an old traditional computer, the keyboard, at least earlier in the early 80s of the operating systems, the keyboard was uh, handled by the interrupts. So whenever the user hits the key, it makes an interrupt in the processor and then the processor goes reading that which one of the keys was hit. So it is not all the time like running a loop where it is pulling that if some key is hit, if someone has, has hit a key, if someone has hit the key, if someone has hit the key. No, it's not doing like that. It's just waiting there without doing anything or it's doing something completely else. And then when someone is hitting the key, then it makes an interrupt and the interrupt routine is run once and in the routine it is looking from the keyboard interface that which ones of the keys was hit. So that's an interrupt. And then in a real-time operating system, quite a lot of the uh, functions are really timed by the interrupts. And then, then there are different uh, methods also for timing the events. So, so we can have the, wait a second, Time. So we can put their time tickers. So a ticker is like ticking like once in 100 millisecond. And then whenever there is a full 100 millisecond, it makes an interrupt. And then they, this routine is then, the subroutine is serving the interrupt and then doing some action. And then there is also like wait when the processor just stops and, and, and is idling there. But then that's, that's still quite typical in, in, in an operating system. But then we also have in the operating system something which is called the treats. So I think that in all programming with any operate modern operating system and in with any modern computer you're handling the treats the treats are that you can run different kind of code in different treats in finnish the treat is a say so so then we can have a look here at what is the treat so today we will use treats for, for creating some timing functions in there. So there is a treat class and then we can establish a new treat there. And, and then typically you can, when you look at the operating system reference in here, there is the class reference and then all the methods which are available there in the class. That's quite hard to start studying that all these, the, what is this one? And then, but it helps that there is a code example down here. So treat example. So that kind of simple piece of code made for, for testing with the treats. So in here, they have two LEDs, LED one, LED two, 
uh, then they have one treat which they call a treat. And then in the main program, so when you start, when you connect the power on the microcontroller, it goes into the main program, the beginning of the main program. Or it is first running these, the code for default, for all the definitions of the variables and so on. So we are including the embed operating system and then defining that there is an LED one and the type of that one is a digital out. So this, this is actually a class. There is a digital out class in the embed OS reference, uh, embed OS operating system. So we define that led one is an out of class digital out. The led two the same, and then the treat is with the class treat. So exactly that part of the operating system we are looking at now. And then there is a definition for a subroutine. So it's defined before we go into the main program. But then we start running the main. And in the beginning of the main, we go, we use this treat object and the method start. And in, the, in this treat, we are starting a subroutine led to treat, which is that one in here. So we have another treat now for running this led to treat. And then, then there is an in back into the main loop on the main program. So there is a while loop and while is from the C or C++. So while, and when there is something true in the while, it is just running in this loop. And when there is now there is a true statement, so it's all the time true. So it's forever running in here. And then let one will get the value not let one. So it's changing that state. And then this treat goes into a sleep mode for 500 milliseconds. So this treat sleep for 500 means that it is sleeping for 500 milliseconds. But here in the beginning of the main, it started another treat. And this led to treat. And the led to treat is then running a piece of code where there is another while loop and another led and then another timing. So we will do something like this this time. And then for doing this, you can go either to the So again, back to the ARM embed, and then you can go to the Kale Studio Cloud, or we can go into the embed studio, which is the same, almost exactly the same as the Kale Studio Cloud, but it is installed on the computer. So you can start the Kale Studio Cloud and start creating a new project in there. And then I'll do it this time in the installed embed studio. So I have just installed the latest version of the embed studio and I will start my first project there. So then you will also see that how to start the new project in the locally installed embed studio.